Hey, Mike. Hey, what's up, man? Oh, boy. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more excited to have the beer in the glass than the actual beer. Does that make sense? No. Okay. Well, we have these Hot Butcher Kolsch glasses that, that you've seen, but we haven't been able to put proper Hot Butcher Kolsch, Kolsch in it. So, finally, they brewed a Kolsch. This is through their uh, Rewaka Hopped Kolsch Style Ale, 4.5%. Doing this on a nice brisk Friday afternoon. Look at that. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Oh, Sorry, I'm going to take a picture. Yeah, okay, I'll just use yours. <laughs> cool. This looks absolutely amazing. This so, looks gorgeous. This looks like a Kolsch. I don't know what a throop is. Either way. There's some numbers on it, but uh, either way, can art. Dan Jetsa, always killing it. Oh, caught some of the tasting notes, but I don't want to look at it. So just look at this. <laughs> This looks looks awesome. It is just like pale, pale yellow with a crisp white head, nice and rocky. It just it, it's it's hazy as shit. Looks awesome. Yeah, it looks lighter on camera, but uh, it's... yeah, this looks, looks looks like what I like to joke is a urine sample. Yeah, pretty much. Do you guys know? I saw it. Ooh. Wow, that's um, that's really nice. It's like lemon peel. Yeah, and it's got like hints of grass. Oh yeah, I guess lemon grass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you're definitely getting grassy notes. You're getting like um, some earthiness. Maybe that's a grassy thing too. Um, you're getting lemon. You're getting uh, you're getting like you're getting like the the um. You're getting like the cereal grains. You're getting the barley. Oh yeah, hundred percent. It smells absolutely phenomenal. It smells awesome. Cheers. Cheers, sir. Wow. Big pith. Grapefruit pith. Yeah. Extremely crushable. What are you thinking? I always had a case of it. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Um, you're getting everything you're getting on the nose, just in different levels. Um, for sure, you're getting that grassy character, you get that earthiness, you're getting getting that like um, that lemon peel, you're getting a little bit of that, as we said, that grapefruit pith. Yeah. You're getting, uh, you're, you're getting a strong malt backbone. It is a really, really delicious course. Yeah. And like the hops are coming through just enough because like it, it's a light, refreshing effervescent beer so as most cultures yeah they're, they're light and refreshing they're, they're very lagery in that sense and this kind of has that vibe going on but then like it's got to be the rawaka i imagine that's just given that little bit of extra punch a little bit of extra flavor yeah a little bit like grapefruit like spritz yeah so crisp barley that makes sense delicate oh. citrus and candied lemon yep candy lemon i'm not sure i get candy lemon i'm definitely getting like almost like lemon zest though you know mm. Which, you know, split, split hairs. Yeah. yeah. When I think lemon, candied lemon, I think after the warhead sour, like, goes away in, on, on a lemon warhead. What else do you drink? What else is candied lemon? There's those candies we can get, like, well, when we were kids at the, the penny store or whatever. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. Yep, yep, yep. Or maybe they're talking about, like, those 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 sugared lemon slices you can get. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But this is super delicious. Um... Honestly, like the, the thing that's that's getting me um, hardest is that oh, that's the wrong word. But... <laughs> I thought you were gonna say something completely different. Yeah, but, yeah. The, the thing that's getting me um, most strongly is the um, is that that grapefruit pith. Yep. And um, I, I like that it's it's just keeping you honest. Like like I mean, I could smash this whole thing, but the only thing that's the same like stop and take stop and savor this yeah, for a second. Exactly. You know. It's absolutely perfect. Like, could you mind just having like a case of this and just like, just just constantly refilling your glass, <laughs> like, like as if you're in Cologne. Yeah, <laughs> just like this. Look at me go. Oh, that's, look at look how gorgeous that is, and it just well, it's gonna stop right at the top. That's amazing. <laughs> like, I just want to drink every beer out of this glass if it looks this pretty. Like, look how pretty. 
this is the reason why this class exists. Yes, 100%. Yeah, so let us know down in the comments if you've had Throop by Hot Butcher. And again, thank you, Hot Butcher, for, for sending these. These are always uh, super awesome. They're 4.5% Ruwaka Hopped Kolsch Style Ale. Um, did we mention, so you can't call a beer a Kolsch unless it's brewed in Cologne. So that's why everyone wants to say Kolsch Style. Is that true? I think that's true. Because, oh. because even... Even Trillium says Kolsch style. This says Kolsch style. I think even um, Notches says it says Kolsch in big letter on the can. But I, said, I think it's like Kolsch style. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know they had that. Whatever that word is for it. Uh, regional. Ah, there's a word yeah. for it. But yeah. Either way, I don't care. This is fucking delicious. Mm -hmm. Don't give a fuck. Love it. Crush these all day long. Summer beer. <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting. I guess, I guess it's still summer. It's August, but today's just cooler. Um, so yeah, nerdsense.net, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, if those are your things, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit those notification bells so you're notified whenever we post new videos. And uh, I'm Sean. I'm Mike. And, and this, this is, is Nerdsense. Nerd